Hello everybody, Max with A Website Pro here, and today we're going to learn how to change the theme in Summer Note. So, uh, basically all you have to do is, is pull in the, the right libraries. I'm going to show you guys how to download it from GitHub, install it into your server, and then just choose whatever uh, file path you want for your theme. So it's really easy, so uh, let's get So, basically, this... I just made a really quick script, took me five minutes, and uh, I just have these different themes. Here's the uh, the Darkly one. Here's the BS3. Sir Yulin, or however you pronounce that. This is Cosmo. Uh, default. Here's the Flatly theme. Whoa, talk about yellow. And then Plex, and then Primer. And, you know, it's all the same thing. Uh, you operate everything the same way all you're doing is changing the colors so uh, let me show you guys what's going on here and how to do this so uh, what you'll do is you'll head on over to github and I'll have this link in the description of uh, the video and also on the website over here uh, when you get to this link you want to go down to the code and then just hit download zip It'll bring up a zip, and then you navigate to the folder that you want to download it to, and then just click Save. And it'll download that folder into your HT docs or on your server, and then you want to show it in the folder. Bring it over here. And so we're in folder, Summer Note 2 like we've been working on. You can see we still have display, index, and save files that we had from the last lesson. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click and hit extract all and show extracted files when complete there we go now here's our extracted files now one of the things that I like to do to make it easier and I'll put these side by side here so you guys can see what I'm going to do basically I'm going to come in our folder here and I'm going to create another folder a new folder I'm going to call it themes just like so. And uh, this zip file, I can go ahead and delete that because I don't need that anymore. But uh, in this Summer Note Themes Master, which is this one right here, this is where all of the, uh, the themes are. Now let me go ahead and copy all the themes, like so. And then I'm just going to, oop, I better rename that to proper spelling. If you're ever having any issues, a lot of times it's just a file path. So you always got to constantly check those file paths because if one, one little thing's off, then it's not going to work right. Okay, so now I have a Summer Note themes, and I, and I put all the themes in that, in that one. And that way I don't have to keep typing out Summer Note Master, blah, 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 and then, you know, all that stuff. So, so I can, can actually delete, delete this fo folder now because it's pretty much empty. And now I have my themes uh, display and index. So, so let's, let's go ahead and go to uh, our, uh, our Atom here. And I'm, I could just go ahead and close these out. And I'll start up the index. And if you could see, if we go to uh, Summer Note 2 on our browser here, In the index file, you can see that we have nothing in there right now. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I prepared the, the script for you, so I'm just going to copy and paste it in here and explain the whole thing to you. Now, uh, we start out with our doc type HTML. We set it to English. We set the meta character set to UTF-8, which is a universal encoding. And then the title is Summer Note. And we could call this Summer Note Themes like so okay here this is something different from the last one we're this usually put this on uh, mobile applications or websites that are mobile responsive and then you, you give the meta name of viewport and then it gives the it initial scale of one so it sizes it right on uh, mobile now one of the things that I did is uh, I had to use bootstrap 4 instead of bootstrap 3 like we were using in the last lessons so we updated to bootstrap 4 because these themes won't work in bootstrap 3 so that's one of the things that you want to think about um, 
the, the next thing here is I have a link path to the style sheet, which is uh, which is what we downloaded from GitHub. And let me go ahead and show you that one more time here, and so you could understand the uh, context of what's going on. The very first part of the uh, URL path, uh, I just took off. We're just going straight into themes. And so here's my uh, HT docs, and you can see if I go to Summer Note 2, now I have themes. And let me put this just like this so you can see. The next folder we're in is Cosmo, and then we're going to Summer Night. Summer Note Lite Cosmo Min.css, and that would be this file right here. Okay, now look at the next file right here Cosmo Summer Note Lite Cosmo Libre.min.css. Now, if you don't have that file, you're not going to be able to see the icons. So, you want to make sure that you include both those files within your CSS whenever you're calling it in. Now, if we go further down, this the rest of this is just the CDN query, uh, libraries. And this particular code right here, slim.min.js, uh, that's required for Bootstrap 4, so we had to add another script in. This one here is popper, also required in Bootstrap 4, in order for SummerNote to work. And then finally, we get the bootstrap.min.js, this script. Now, I have, it's important that you declare the CSS first and the JavaScript second. In this particular case, you want to have your CSS before your, your summer note CSS before your summer note min.js, your JavaScript file. But you want to have this after, uh, after all of this stuff because it won't work right. So the order that I'm giving you these files in, is the way that it's going to work. Otherwise, you're going to have a little bit of a headache. Here I started a style tag, and I'm just taking control of the background of the page and the color of the text. Okay? And then this particular one, I'm targeting the summer note editor, and I'm changing the background colors and the text colors so that whenever they're typing it out, whenever you saw the background was gray and the type was white, you know, the text was white, so on and so forth. So that's how we're accomplishing that here. And this uh, no editing area, that's, that's the actual color of the text. So uh, this is the color of the, uh, the menu items in the notepad. And then this would be the color of the text, whatever they're typing in there. Okay, so we, uh, have, we start out with our body tag after we close our head tag. And we have a summer note. We could call that summer note themes. And then we're using the form method of post. We have a text area box so that uh, we can target it with, and put our summer note in there. We have our save button just like we did in the last lesson. If you haven't seen the last lesson, I've, I described all this stuff in detail. We have our div ID of uh, display. And then we have all of our functions, and it's the exact same thing as it was in the last lesson. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and save this uh, file. And let's go to um, Summer Note 2 here. Load it up. And there we go. We have our Cosmos. Now, what if we wanted the Darkly theme? Well, we already know that we have that folder in there because we downloaded it and extracted it. But the, all you have to do now is at the top here, where you, where you see these two style sheets, all you have to go, do is go in and type darkly. As long as I spell it right, it'll work. Copy, and then you want to put it in there, and also the folder path is darkly. And let me go ahead and bring over the box and show you guys how we're getting there. So, so Summer Note 2, Themes, and then here's Darkly. And so we're targeting these scripts right here in order for this to work. So let's go ahead and check it out, see if it works for us. And we'll just hit Refresh, F5, and there we go. Now, if we wanted to change that background here in the text, 
and maybe the background of the page, that's why I added this little style right here. So maybe we want the style to be gray, the background. Maybe we'll want the uh, text color to be white. We'll go ahead and save that. If you hit refresh, see how this background here. But now notice that it's not in here. See, it's still white background with uh, black text. So that's that's we could change that here, and then change the text to white. Hit save. Refresh. This is some text. Notice how it changes it around. And these little icons that are being called in, that's that other library. Okay? So basically, uh, you don't need this right here. So I'm sure I take that out of there so I don't confuse you. Anyway, that's how you change the theme and you use different themes in the Summer Note. If you like this tutorial, please uh, smash that like button and subscribe and share it with your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next video tutorial.